Oh, you're back. Is everything all right? We ran into Cloran. She offered to help us protect Kiara. That is good to hear. I trust her abilities. It looks like Kiara is in good hands. We thought so too. Well, did you find any leads? I've been looking over the case records, specifically inspection reports submitted by Kiara and major cases I have judged over the past decade. I have come up with two plans. On one hand, I could start with Kiara and track down the group behind all this step by step. On the other, I could also analyze the conflicting interests of these major cases and confirm my suspicions if there is indeed a mysterious group that bears a grudge against me. They both sound like pretty solid plans, but can you really finish browsing through all these documents? That's a lot of reading, even for Paimon. Don't worry. I'm a fast reader when it comes to official documents. After all, I have several hundred years of reviewing under my belt. We'll help you read through them. We have nothing else to do. Thank you. I will continue looking through the ones piled up on the desk, but feel free to browse through anything else in this room. Have you made any progress? We skipped through some of them, but there wasn't anything useful. Oh, there are so many documents lying around. Just how many cases have you handled? I would love to answer that question, but the truth is I've never made a precise calculation myself. If memory serves me right, there should be at least 100,000 cases. The documents you see are just a small fraction of what's really there. Whoa, that's a lot. Looks like the work of a Chief Justice isn't easy at all. That might be how it seems from another's perspective, but trials and official duties are, to me, simply routine. There are many documents here. Take a break if you are tired. <sighs> you read Paimon's mind. All right. Let us take a break, then. Please pardon my lack of consideration. People rarely come to the Palais Memonia for matters outside of work. To be quite honest, I am not sure what we should do. Would you like to have some drinks, perhaps? You must be thirsty after all that work. what Novelette likes to drink. Oh, maybe he's a fan of really fancy wines. He seems like the type of person who'd own an entire winery. You know, like D. Luke. Uh, what's inside these glasses? It looks just like water. An astute observation. It is indeed water. So it's 
that's just plain old water? What did you think it was? Um, since you're the Chief Justice and all, Paimon thought you'd prefer something more sophisticated. This water is indeed very special. It would not be an overstatement to call it sophisticated. I believe you've already tried Fanta. In fact, there are many other drink factories in Fontaine, including those that specialize in packaging pure drinking water. Said water is sourced from all across Tevat, including Mondstadt's Cider Lake, Liu's Chintsa Village, and Inazuma's Konda Village. Here is one of their latest products, water from Sumeru's Apam Woods. If I were to comment on their mouthfeel, Hmm, the waters of Cider Lake warm the heart. The waters of Chintsa Village have a poignant touch. While one might call the waters of Konda Village uh, placid, distinct differences exist between the waters of each area. You will appreciate their intricacies once you taste them carefully. It seems like you still have a long way to go in refining your tastes. Hey, this doesn't have to do with refining our tastes. Paimon's pretty sure most ordinary people can't tell the difference. How did you do it anyway? Oh, could it be because you're the Hydro Dragon? Uh, we are allowed to bring that up, right? Since no one else is around? Oh, Paimon's been wanting to ask this for ages. If you're the Hydro Dragon, why would you become Chief Justice in human society? Hmm... Uh, sorry. Paimon was just curious. You don't have to answer. There's nothing to hide. I was simply organizing my thoughts. I accepted this position because I wanted to seek out answers to questions that have perplexed me. Questions? Are there really things you can't figure out? Many, in fact. But the one question that puzzles me the most concerns my own existence. In essence, I neither know why I was born in this form, nor do I understand where my long life should take me. I lost many memories from the moment I was born. The Primordial Sea, for example. I can only vaguely recall its connection to me, but I am unaware of what that connection is exactly. Perhaps the elemental dragons of other nations may have some form of an answer. However, they are scattered across all of Tevat. Abruptly visiting could very well pose an unpredictable risk. True. Some of them have very... unique personalities, too. I have been holding on to these unanswered questions for a long time. But there is one thing I've discovered along the way. My emotions easily resonate with those of others. Even I don't have the slightest idea what they mean. My guess would be that there are at least some similarities between humans and myself. By observing their behavior, perhaps I could one day understand the meaning of my existence. Have you made any progress then? Perhaps, but I find such progress difficult to describe. As an outsider, chances to engage in meaningful interactions with others are few and far between. That's why I'm quite thankful for this chat. Such opportunities are rare. <sighs> Alas, time is limited. We should move on with our investigation. Are we gonna continue reading these documents? Uh, Paimon's getting dizzy already. I wasn't able to find any leads even after browsing through most of the documents. But while we were on the topic of water a moment ago, another idea came to me. Water? Do you mean... That's right. The Fountain of Lucene is where all of Fontaine's waters converge. It is the vessel of countless memories and emotions. If there really were an organization attempting to use Melusines against me, they should also hold an intense resentment towards me. 
Perhaps we'll be able to find some new leads by sensing the hydro element within the fountain. Huh. Why didn't Paimon think of that? Come on, let's go take a look! Perhaps we should go. There shouldn't be too many people near the Fountain of Lucene during the evening. <laughs>